I think one of the key challenges for enterprises when it comes to securing their data is that beyond securing just the repository, the database system or the file system, really the key is to secure the elements of data. So the difference between securing the information about David Riley in the database, but instead securing the element of information that is David and Riley and the element that is the first line of address and the element that is social security number. That's a very challenging problem. And even more so in the unstructured data spaces, where for many enterprises, that is where a lot of that key and confidential data is stored. What the platform enables you to do is to secure that data at the element level, to provide the highest level, the highest standard of element level data security so that you can prove to your clients that this responsibility we all have around effective data stewardship is one that is both strategic and at the center of everything the enterprise does. The platform enables you to do that in ways where you can tackle that problem in the toughest space of all, which is the unstructured data space. One of the emerging strategic risks for CIOs, for chief data officers, for chief information security officers is the access to data that is required as a result of the models that we're all developing in the AI and ML space. To make those models effective, they need to be trained. And to train those models requires access to vast amounts of data. The more data you can put through that model, the more effective that model will be. That brings with it a risk that maybe is at this stage only emerging, which is to ensure that we do not provide inappropriate access for those models to get access to certain elements of data to train and learn and become more effective. One of the things the platform can do is to help you ensure that only the right data is available to the right models at the right time. And in particular, in the unstructured data space, which is the toughest of all the problems to solve. As more and more AI and ML is deployed and more and more models have to be trained to be made effective, this risk is only going to grow. And we think the platform can really help mitigate that risk and ensure that only the right data is being used in the right places at the right time. The, the skepticism about moving data off-prem, yeah, that's, that's real. I don't think that's really changed pre and post pandemic. I, 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 didn't, I didn't see it get I didn't see the pressure to do that rise or fall. Um, now, it, that may be different at some, maybe some smaller institutions, but but at the bigger shops, I don't think the pandemic has changed that at all. Um, because it's, the, the, the security of that data is, um, it's paramount. So I, I didn't, I didn't see that at all. Um, I mean, we could we could talk about as you as companies work out as enterprises, sorry, as enterprises work out they run and what they rely on SaaS or cloud providers to do. That, that, that software is important, but it's probably less important than, than what that means for the data. And so, effective governance and oversight of data usage as your applications change on that journey to the cloud is key. And we can help provide the telemetry you need to know that you don't put the wrong data in the wrong place at the wrong time. But that's that sort of skirting around that question uh, about cloud adoption, because I, I don't feel like I could talk informatively about that, because I've not I've not seen that, that pressure around, among my ex peer group to sort of go fast and then and then slow down